Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. Uh, I didn't start this, so I did the intro. That's all I did though. All right, so um, we're, we're getting close to about an hour of recording, so I'm, I want, I'm interested to see how the, uh, the battery life on the phone is right now. I hope we don't run out of battery. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get into this. Parducci, yet again. So third week of Parducci. Uh, we're, doing the two, the, we're doing the True Grit um uh, reserve uh, from the heritage portfolio and uh i'm really excited about doing this i've had some true grit before i i hate to say i don't remember which one i've had i almost i really want to say it was a syrah but i don't know if they make a syrah for true grit i would imagine they do because um this one has like a buttload of stuff which i believe one of them is syrah yeah so I think I had I think I've had a true grit Syrah before. All right, let's get right into it. So um, first wine up the 2015 True Parducci True Grit Reserve Chardonnay. Um, let's see, it doesn't really say anything other than uh, it's from Mendocino County uh, Cooperage, as in the oak their oak uh, regimen or someone someone's your uh, your oak. Not oak treatment. I think regimens sometimes that people use. Uh, anyway, what what do they do for oak? So 93% new French oak, 7% stainless steel. Uh, all from Mendocino County, 100% Chardonnay. We do a little rinse because we don't want my we don't want a little homemade rosé from the other wines. Uh, suggested retail price on this is $17.99. Alrighty. A little drippage there. Boom. Did I give you like a whoosh of that? Yeah, I think I did. Da dun da dun. It's a glass table, sorry. Alright, um, let's just get right into it. Of course, I got all the Corvin bubbles in there right now. I can already smell it. Pretty intense uh, aromas on there. I got a lot of caramel and butterscotch on me right off the bat. Caramel apple. I feel like, I'm, I feel like it's Halloween. Bit of melon. Cantaloupe rind. Lemon. Yeah. Again, that caramel and butterscotch. Bit of uh, minerality, wet rock. I mean, it smells, it smells pretty tasty. Vanilla it smells pretty tasty. Um, just like spices. I mean, that French oak's coming through. Yeah, vanilla for days. Spices, yeah. Kind of more clove than anything else. Hmm. Everything I said on the palate is, I mean, everything I said on the, on the nose is on the palate. And then as I exhaled while I was, you know, doing the an explosion of like Christmas and baking spices just hit my nose. Um, 
It's just, it is very tasty. There's a touch of creaminess to it. I mean, the apples are still there. This is a very rich wine. I mean, if you like this kind of very rich and flavorful um, style of Chardonnay from California, um, it's not it's not buttery by any means, but it's definitely oaky. Um, I don't get any burnt popcorn or anything like that, but there's definitely a ripeness to the fruit. Um, and now I've just said popcorn. Or burnt popcorn, I, maybe in a way there's a little bit there, but definitely a ripeness to the fruit. Yellow apple, like just brightness to it. Um, I don't know why, but it made me think of of a yellow python. All of a sudden, like I said, yellow apple and this yellowness and goldness. Um, and and I've been watch. I was watching Stargate SG One on El Rey Network, and they were advertising some type of. Uh, what was it? it? Was on the TV. Somebody, oh, somebody was talking about. Oh, I know what it was. It was. Uh, uh, oh, I watched a movie the other night. Oh, I watched Year One. That's what it was. And and Sarah's character had the python. I'd never seen the movie. It was a stupid movie, but it was funny. Really stupid movie. But it made me think of the python. Not in a bad way. Like not the wine's constricting you or anything like that. Also a bit of like this balloon, rubber, red, not red, but just balloon aroma. But that's okay. It was just a little bit there. Not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. I must be, dude, my, my, my palate must be getting ready for burgundy. I, I, this is not necessarily a burgundian style, but this is like a riper. It could be like a riper burgundian style, I guess. I don't know. But my palate must be getting ready. I, I, maybe, because I've been enjoying some Chardonnay the last few weeks. I, I'm telling you, I've been enjoying it. All right, so let's move on to wine number two. All right, wine number two, right there. This is the 2015 Parducci True Grit Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, let's see. It is 99% Cab, 1% Petit Verdot. Aged approximately one year, 33, I'm sorry, 35% new French oak, 65% uh, neutral barrels. They say bottled in 2000, January 2016. So yeah, not a lot of age on this. I mean, it's got almost as much bottle age. It's got more bottle age than oak age than, than barrel age on it at this point. All right, um, when is this bottled? Does not say when the, when the uh, shard was bottled. Let's check it out. Bit of haziness to it. It's got that candied raspberry hard shell that I get from a lot of Cali red wines. Uh, retail on this is $19.99. Forgot to mention that. Definitely vanilla, definitely cinnamon, clove. I mean, you can smell, even though it's only 35% new oak or French oak or just oak in general, you can definitely smell it. It's very clean smelling. A bit of tobacco. Bit of a woodsy bramble. Fresh earth. Raspberry. I always said the raspberry. That's the main fruit uh, aroma on that. Hmm. 
Hmm. So you know how I say I try not to read the, the, the tasty notes too much in advance? Well, this one I happened to. And it said, has a subtle olive tapenade, which I have no clue what that is, but I get olive out of this. Like, I'm in like a bunch of olive trees, and I'm actually eating olives off the olive trees, and I, I kind of dig that. I mean, the nose was like, eh, okay, but the, the palate is really, is really winning me over. I feel there's a little bit of pyrazine in this too. Uh, now this is 14.5% alcohol. It it holds really well, um, actually. Um, I mean, I can kind of get I get it, but it doesn't taste that hot. Um, there's a touch of green to it. Um, the raspberries there. I get also get dark. I get chocolate covered cherry. Um, yeah, uh, the spices are there by by yeah. Spices are there. Vanilla, clove, cinnamon, baking spices, brown sugar. It's, it's a well-made, it's really well-made. Considering I know it's 14.5% alcohol, the flavors are very, very well integrated. The tannins are a little bit there. It's not super high tannin, but we're definitely talking mean and plus on the tannin. I can feel it. Um, they're very juicy, very flavorful. Um, it's what, what we talk, 20 bucks? Not bad for a $20 bottle of wine. I'll be honest, I like the other Cabernet better because it, it's a little more restrained. Um, but this is not like a fruit bomb necessarily, but it's definitely fruit forward. If somebody wants a... I wouldn't call it a sweet wine because it's not really sweet. But if they want that, if they want a lot of fruit, they're going to like this wine. So if you like the fruit forward wines, you're going to like this. But it's also just very tasty. It's got those spices and it's not bad. All right. This is the one I'm really looking forward to just because it's got a smorgasbord of grapes. Wine number three. All right, uh, the 2013 Parducci True Grit True Grit Reserve Red Mendocino County. All right, um, so this has eight different grapes in it. Let's run down the list: 29% Carignan, 28% Zinfandel, 16% Grenache, 10% Syrah, 9% Petit Syrah. 4% Suzao, 2% Tinto Cao, and 2% Toriga Nacional. It is aged for 12 months. So it looks like we got a lot of bottle age to this. 40% um, in seasoned oak barrels, which I'm assuming they mean uh, neutral barrel, or they're maybe two-year-old barrels, maybe not three or four or five-year-old barrels. And then 60% neutral tanks. So I guess a little stainless. All righty. I thought there was something about the winemaking on here, but maybe not. I'm trying to ignore the tasting note part, but I've already kind of read it by accident. Let's see in the back if it says anything. Uh, no. All right. I'm excited to try this because I like wines with a bunch of stuff in it. You know, it's a guilty pleasure wine that's kind of like, I mean, same idea as just they throw a, a bunch of grapes in there. I admit it's called Saved. I have not reviewed it yet, um, but I had it at a wine bar and I've had it a couple times and it's just like guilty pleasure, like just a fruit bomb explosion in your mouth with vanilla and it's just tasty as all get out. 
But this is not about that wine. It's about these wines. Sorry. I already like what I smell so far. Just lots of just all three colors of the fruit. Red, black, and blue. More red and black than blue. But, yeah. Vanilla, cream. Just... Just a really, really nice smelling wine. And you can't mistake it that this is New World. This is not an Old World wine. It is definitely fruit forward. It's a little bit warm in here. We have the air conditioning worked on today. It's working, but it still feels a little warm. Yeah, just lots of vanilla, lots of baking spice, lots of red and black fruit, a little bit of blue, a little bit of uh, fresh, uh, fresh red flowers, some uh, cedar. Yeah. I could actually just kind of just sit back and just kind of smell this wine. Uh, at our Monday morning meeting, one of the guys, one of the wines I brought, he, he said it was a sniffer. Like he could just smell the wine if it's a he was just like, I have wines like that. This is the wine I could just, yeah, I could just smell. Did I, oh, did I tell you? It's uh, $19.99. I forgot to say how much it was. Mmm. It's the last wine of the night. This is my favorite wine of all the Parducci wines that were sent to me. Like, you need to buy this wine. Like, I, just flat out. You need to stop what you're doing right now and buy this wine. I, I freaking love it. And I, I just because I don't want an explicit tag. Like, 20 bucks for this? I mean, it drinks like it, it, it's priced appropriately, but I've had wines like this that are just like that red blend of just, they're just gonna be just a, a powerful wine in front of you that sell for twice as much. I, I, I'm dead serious. I'm not trying to suck up to anybody because you, you've obviously heard me give my opinions on like, it's not really my style of wine, I'm not really a fan of it, it's okay. Um, this is by far my favorite of all the Parducci things, Mike. Mark, I'm sorry, not Mike. Mark, thank you very much. Uh, I'm probably gonna lay this one down a little bit uh, so I can enjoy it. You know, on a on a day where I can really just kind of sit back and enjoy. Um, not that the other wines I can't do that with. Um, some of them are just gonna be like, hey man, I'm just gonna not chug some wine, but I'm just like, I'm gonna drink some wine tonight. Like some of that stuff, like some of them are guilty pleasure wines. I'm looking at them. I can't wait to try those again. Um, but. got everything I talked about on the nose. It's all there in the palate. It is a touch of bramble to it, a touch of woods, um, cedar box, tobacco. Um, just, it's juicy. It, it, it's, your average person, they're gonna like this wine. This is one of those wines where I'm at work and someone's like kind of question, what am I gonna like? I'm like, this, it's a crowd pleaser. It's a crowd pleaser wine. Everyone's gonna like it, in general, and they're all gonna think it's probably cost more than it really does. <laughs> maybe not twice as much more, but you know, if you told them it was 25, 30 bucks retail, they'd be like, okay, I'll pay for that. I, I like this wine. Only because this is Thursday night, not Wednesday night, so I don't have like all day tomorrow to like do whatever, uh, and I, I do want to hold on to this wine. I mean, it's all I can do, not just to crack it open and just drink the rest of the bottle tonight. Oh, excuse me. And um, yeah, that's about as much of an endorsement as you're gonna get from me without putting a, a, a number on the wine, which I can't remember the last time I gave a number score to a wine. But I'd, I would be, let's just put it this way. I would give it, a, I would give it that, a score in that, that 
group that I almost never like to give scores when I used to score wines, it would it would get into that into that group of that that top group of 10 points it would be in there not the top part but it, it would crack that barrier that i i for some reason never like to give scores that high <clears throat> now are there gonna be some people out there gonna go this wine's not good because they don't like the style of wine, they 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 want their they want their French wines. They want their they want their old world wines. But if you like new world wine, and you like stuff that just tastes good, um, you're gonna like this wine. This is not. A, I don't think this is necessarily a serious wine, but I've had wines that taste like this and seem to be similar quality. And it's fourteen and a half percent alcohol, and my I'm not my mouth's not burning. Medium plus tannins. I mean. I've had wines that are way more expensive than this that kind of taste like this, but you can feel the heat, and, you, and they're 14 and a half. Like, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I'm excited to see what this actually tastes like later on, because sometimes when I taste these wines, and I may really like them, and I taste them later, I'm like, oh, they're not as great as they were, or I'm like, oh, they wasn't really that good of a wine when I reviewed it, and then I try it later, I'm like, what was I thinking? It actually was actually pretty good. So um, I'm excited to see how this wine holds up later. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's uh, let's end this up. So, um, see, at this point, see, this is what episode number four. So, a month from now, so end of September. So, I'm like going to Burgundy like really soon. All right. So, uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, click the links above to friend me up. Click the link below to learn more about Par Parducci. Um, you can hit the donate button over here for PayPal. Um, to uh, help defray some costs to Burgundy. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time.